Okay, so this video is for Math 4 for March 30th, I believe. Yes, so it should be Monday morning, March 30th, and this is for Math 4. Okay, so in Math 4, we're going to be on Lesson 117. So in your um, workbook, you will see a Math page... Um, 114 lesson at the bottom of your math page. So look at the very bottom, make sure it says 114, okay? Go ahead and tear that one out of your book and then you can set it to the side while we learn the lesson. So the last time that we did math together, we started doing multiplication, um, double digit multiplication. So what I mean by that is we had two digits on the top and then we had two digits on the bottom. And we're going to be continuing with that multiplication. Okay? So before I get to this problem, though, let's just review some multiplication. Let's do this problem first. 23 times 2. Okay, so remember when I'm multiplying and I just have one digit, I have to say 2 times 3 is 6. And 2 times 2 is 4. So we get 46. Okay? Now, let's go to 2 digit multiplied by 2 digit. So remember that we want to start out with our 1's place. And we want to go ahead <clears throat> and multiply this 1's place just like we did this 1's place. To the 1's place and to the 10's place. So let's do that. 4 times 4. 16, carry the 1, 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9, okay? Now, the next thing, now that we've done the 1's place, okay, now we want to mark out the 1's place, and now we want to multiply by the 10's place, and we need to do the 10's place times the 1's place, in the tenths place times the tens place. Now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to go ahead and erase that one that I carried so I don't um, accidentally make a mistake and add that. One times four is four. One times two is two. Now remember it's so important the way that we line our numbers up so when we get ready to add them together to get our final answer <clears throat> it's clear. So I'm going to go ahead and add the bottom. Six plus nothing is 6. 9 plus 4 is 13. Carry the 1. 3. So our answer is 336. Now make sure that you're taking the time to mark out your 1's place. Um, because if you don't, what happens? This 4 might get um, <coughs> scooted over and then we miss add and we get the whole thing wrong. Okay. So um, this is what you're going to be uh, working on today. Um, in your directions, if you'll see, it talks about um, doing some estimating, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to be doing multiplying. So if you will look at numbers 1 through 8, you're going to be multiplying those. It gives you the boxes, okay? But look down at number 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So on those, um, what it wants you to do is get a piece of notebook paper, okay? So your notebook paper has lines. And um, you want to make sure that you do one letter per line, that you're really, really nice and neat. So um, if your lined paper looks like this, we don't want to try to squish it, squish it in there, okay? We want to write the problem down first really nice and neatly, really big, okay? Um, so make sure that you do that. When you write your problem, so if, this, if we were doing number nine, we want to make sure that we do num we write number nine, and then it's thirty two times forty three. Okay, we want to write it nice and neat, and then we want to, when we get down here, what do we always need to do with our answer? Go ahead and circle it for me, and then you can come back and write it into your worksheet page. These pages that have your work remember need to be attached to your math so that I can see those. <clears throat> okay, that should get you through what you need to do today. You've got some word problems. 
Just because we're multiplying on our work does not mean necessarily that you're going to be having all multiplication problems in your word problems. So make sure you read it very carefully so you can think about what it's asking you to do. Okay, so you have the front and the back of that. Make sure that you Marco Polo me when you need help. Okay, let's get going.